Hey, <laughs> how's it going? I'm uh, in the process of making some significant changes to the wiring in the trailer. The lights are off, Doug. Yes, all the power is off at the moment. So I'm swapping out some of the stuff uh, that's related to power. So I'm replacing the inverter, the battery charger, and the transfer switch with a single device that does all three. So basically means I have to disconnect all the power related stuff in the front and redo it. So it should be an adventure. Well, that's I assume why you have this panel down here open, huh? Uh-huh. Let's take a look. Yep. Whoa, look at all that. Yep, redoing it all. But this thing is the main reason I'm actually redoing a lot of this because it doesn't switch fast enough and devices actually reboot when I make the transition. So going with the device, it has a transfer, trans transfer switch built into it and operates much more quickly. So you're going to replace this? Yep. That's right getting, there. That's getting replaced. This humongous yep, thing. The inverter. And then the battery charger here. That's going away. And then the transfer switch is going away. And it's all being replaced with a single device. Which is? Right here. Put these guys on. Shooting an ultra wide, so much grainier. Really? Yeah, this just doing it in the normal lens, like this is so much cleaner looking. Wow, Doug. <laughs> yeah, pulled three boxes out and it's gonna get replaced with one. So the old boxes we have, this is the inverter. This is what takes the 12 volt power, converts it to 110, 120 volts. It says it's supposed to be good for 3,000 watts continuous. That's way, way overrated. I never come close to that and I've actually gotten to the point where this was not able to deliver all the power that, it, that I needed. Uh, also replacing battery charger. This is uh, one from Go Power, 35 amp. This thing has actually been great. I've really liked this. This has uh, worked fantastic. Um, but my new one does a better job. And then the other thing we're replacing is transfer switch. So this is basically the device that switches between power from the inverter and AC power, shore power, as they call it. Um, it automatically switches to shore power whenever it's available. And that said, this is the new device. This is a Xantrix Freedom XE 2000. This has all three of those devices built into one. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so it's a lot easier to hook up because it's just two cables for battery and then two AC cables. And that's it. So fewer wires to deal with, simpler. It's actually a little bit lighter than this other stuff too. Um, and it's made by a more reputable company than this power tech on inverter here so even though this is rated at 2000 watts instead of 3000 i think this actually does put out more power than the older one ever did so uh cut to later on when it's when it's all done maybe okay guys i'm going in to the unknown, into the unknown, into the unknown. Because uh, I, I don't know anything about this, but <laughs> I'm gonna unscrew this with one hand and film with the other. I'm just kidding. Just, Cut away, Doug. Look at this I'm stuck. I can't move. There's no way for it to get out. Doug just said there's probably a charge still inside of the inverter. Oh, great. Let's, I can't reach my hand up to grab that. <sighs> Next thing is going to be to connect this wire on the other side. This is the power well, it can be one of two things. It can be the power going to the inverter or power coming from the inverter. Hi there, this is Bob Vila for this old trailer. 
I've just undone the power inverter, the old power inverter, with the lock washer, and I'm going to put it back on the bolt to retain both washer, nut, and lock washer. And then I'm gonna start removing the screws. Let's continue to that point. Now that the old power inverter has been removed, I think the new one will take a while to get in. <laughs> yeah. Because Doug's got a lot of wiring to do. Ain't you? Yeah. That's what I hear. Man, this thing is massive. 3,000 watts, 6,000 surge. Is, is, that, is that the truth? No, <laughs> it's very much exaggerated. These wires come out, those wires stay, these stay, that one goes out and it gets turned over to that side and we pull it over up through there and, and it's so simple. <laughs> Hi Doug. Hey, <laughs> this has been an adventure. We uh, go to hook up the new inverter charger and run all the AC wires and flip it on and it trips the breaker. Uh, on the outside <laughs> over and over and over <laughs> over and over and can't figure out what's going on like testing and testing and testing and Turns out we've got a bad AC cable somehow. I don't know how that how and it was brand goes. new brand new cable Yeah, and it's shorting hot to the to ground and that goes to show something so it's weird I, We bypass it with a temporary table here cable and it, and it works fine. And it's working exactly the way it's supposed to So I guess we're gonna run a new cable and see what happens. So we just swapped the cable and it's working now. Somehow we got a bad cable. I've never seen that before. Never had a Romex go bad. All right. It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. The new cable. Yep, new cable, inverter. Actually, yeah, before I speak, before I say that, let's turn the inverter on. And then, it's a test. We'll flip off the pant and the power. And then what will happen? It should stay. The trailer stuff in the trailer should stay on. Like the lights. The well, lights. The lights will always stay on because they're better, but they're on. Oh battery. well, what would stay on? Well, do we have any? We don't really have much. Test something. That's not on for some reason. How about a monitor or something? Printer. Can you can you see that it's on? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Flipping it. And three, two, one. We're on inverter. It's working. Wow. Woohoo! <laughs> so that tells us that it's going off of those batteries yep. through that inverter. Yep. And it just, the, the fan's just turned off. What does that mean? I mean it's not producing enough heat to run the fan. Okay. Right. Got it <laughs> That makes sense. Okay. Woo! Cool. In 20 seconds, it should switch back over to shore power. Yep, there it went. Okay. Well, we've got this Santrix like control panel unit. That's yeah. kind of cool, Doug. Yeah. What does it do? It allows me to see what's going on with the charger inverter. So you can see how much uh, current we're using for the battery voltages, how much current's being going, going to charge the batteries or how much we're using from batteries. Uh, I can turn the inverter on and off. So if I don't need it, I can turn it off. So yeah. Handy. Yep. You're gonna put it somewhere over there. That's the idea, yeah, some more. You're just, you're just acting now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs>
That's a pretty nice thing. Nice job, Paul. <laughs> Yay. I used this oscillating tool. And uh, thanks, DeWalt. This video brought to you by DeWalt. We're not. Oh, okay. It's not. But No sponsorship. But here. hey, uh, DeWalt, we wouldn't mind a sponsorship. Yeah. I'm sure. Cause I, especially because I already own like 40 of your tools. They're good. I like this little guy. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Got to keep the place tidy. Yep. And uh, vacuuming as we went. Yep. No, I'll just program real quick. No, so you program this to... To do things, right, Doug? Yeah, so I, I, I programmed that for the correct type of battery. Um, so I'm using AGM battery. So I programmed it to, use an, to know how to charge an AGM battery. And then I also charged, I set it so it never draws more than, what did I say, 16 amps from shore power. So basically what happens when the battery is low and it needs to charge, it will power all the stuff in the trailer first, and then any remaining power up to 16 amps, it will use to charge the battery. So that way I don't, I'm not tripping breakers inside of a venue if I'm plugged into a circuit breaker that can't handle more than 15, 16 amps. So anyway, yeah. Well, it gives me a lot more control than my old system had. All right, we're actually gonna be doing a full system test here where we have everything in the trailer running. But before we do that, let's we'll take a look. So we're right now we're pulling 13.6 uh, amps from shore and the load on the unit is currently 12 amps so the difference there is basically what's going into the battery for charging at the moment uh, if we go to some, a couple different trains so 111 volts 59.9 hertz on the power and then some software versions battery is currently at 12.2 volts so it's a little low um, it's in absorption mode which for charging the battery and currently charging the battery at 15 amps so yeah, back to where we started. So we're actually gonna initiate a full test. So we have everything in the trailer turned on at the moment. Everything we can possibly turn on is currently turned on. And so we're drawing the maximum that we will ever draw. And we're going to flip the breaker to the inverter so that we're actually running fully on battery power and just make sure that that's actually gonna work and we're not gonna have any computers reset or anything like that. So ready? Yeah. The lights got a little dimmer. Yeah, they did. That uh, one's flickering a little bit. Yeah, so let's turn, the, let's turn those lights off because those aren't not needed. But yeah, because all, all the equipment's actually running. What if we turned off these lights here? Let me try. That's not gonna. That doesn't. Those don't draw much at all. Okay, but I, I assume in in emergency mode we would run in here and go yeah. turn, turn off all non-essential. when we're producing, this is the lighting we're under anyway. So yeah, we we don't have the big YouTube lights going. Those YouTube lights draw, I think it's like 130 watts. So, no, it's more than that because I have three of them. That's, that one's 60, that one's like 40, and that one's another like 40. So, yeah, like 140 watts. Um, so, so every, we're, but we're, everything's on. Yeah, and we're running off battery. Right I now. hear the fan going down here. Yep. More. Yeah. What do we? What info do we have here? Okay, so battery's at 10.2. We're really putting a lot of strain on it. And normally we wouldn't be running with all this stuff. Uh, AC. 109 volts, so 60 hertz. And so, in this in this kind of situation, what would we do? What would we shut off to try to like mitigate? Well, we shut we the, shut down the, some kind the show of being shut down. We can turn off. In fact, we'll go ahead and turn off these top two monitors. Yeah, let's those, see what happens. Those are, those are non-essential. Uh, so that'll that'll get, that'll, get, that'll get us a little. Uh, let's see what. It went up to 11. I thought I saw. Yeah, well, 10.2 still. Oh, okay. Yeah, right we're, word. We're, 1.15 kilowatts, so 1,100 watts we're pulling off the batteries right now. Yeah. Things are still running. Things are still running, yeah. At 59 hertz still. Yep, 59 hertz. Yep. So, at 1,100 watts, so we eliminated 50 watts by turning those off. At this point, we're gonna start turning on some others, like this This monitor we don't need. We can turn that one off. I mean, there's a lot of things that we can shut down that we're just are not essential and save some power and run for a little bit longer on battery. So, yeah, we dropped to 950. So we dropped 200 watts just by turning off those three monitors. So, I'm gonna power back up. All right. Now, it actually takes about 20 seconds before it will go back to uh, inverter power, or it's back to shore power again. There it goes. 
So, yeah, now we're back. Ah, you can tell that got a little yeah. brighter there. Yeah, the lights got a little bit brighter. So, and it's in, in bulk charging mode now. So we, we put pretty, pretty good strain on the batteries there for, for a couple minutes. So, But I guess that could simulate us scrambling for a cable. Hurry, plug it back in. Somebody yeah. kick the cable out or something. Or if we're on a really critical job, that would be start up the generator mode, you know? So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So starting a new have, source of power. We have a few minutes to get a generator going. Um, but once that starts, when, once we know that we're running on battery, we can start shutting off some non essential stuff real quick. There's a bunch of monitors in here we just don't absolutely have to have and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we can, we can save power when we need to. Okay, so we're done. <laughs> we got the new inverter charger installed and it's working great. Pretty happy with it. So um, this is a pretty cool product. If you guys have a production vehicle of some sort, I would very highly recommend getting one of these. Uh, I only have two batteries uh, backing me up, but that's enough to give us some time to like find some auxiliary power, start up a generator, whatever. But uh, yeah, so they're great to have. Uh, probably add some batteries at some point in the future just so I have a little bit longer runtime. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. And uh, yeah, if, if this is something that interests you, I'll post a link to this down in the description uh, for the video down below. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I do content related to video production more or less once a week. Try to do once a week. But uh, so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and have a fantastic day.